All right, welcome back to um the playthrough, and um I'm gonna change things up a little bit. We're gonna have original Nero and original Nico for this mission, mission six. Um, and this is this game has a couple missions. It's I don't want to say it's borrowed from Devil May Cry from DMC because Devil May Cry Four also had these missions, kinda. Um, Devil May Cry Four had like about three no had about five missions like this um this game has about six of these missions give or take um you'll see what this mission is first well she ain't dead got a pretty smoking body though fucking not bad Les blowing over here barely even noticed also, now you get to see original Nico and her glasses. Yeah. My glasses. What the hell? He's too big to lose. That's very. Take care of it. Very southern white trash Velma vibes. Very, very much that. Gilgamesh, which, um, was actually the weapon in Devil May Cry 4, when we, um, beat, um, the forest bitch, that was the arms weapon that you got, and now Gilgamesh is, um, a separate thing, I guess. Um, so yeah, what I meant is, so first off, this entire mission is a boss fight, and, um, yeah, there's a couple missions like this where the mission is just the boss. So in Devil May Cry 4, if you watch that playthrough, you'll know um, the first mission was just the Dante boss. Then there's a, um, the last mission is just Sanctus. The mission before that is just the boss rush. Um, then you fight. There's a mission that's just um, Sanctus as a statue. So that's four missions that's just a fight. Um... Yeah, so that's about four missions. Four out of twenty missions, that was just a fight. In DMC, you had, um... The la you had Mundus, Virgil, and, um... Lilith. Mundus, Virgil, Lilith. Um, and a Succubus. Mundus, Virgil... No! Mundus, Virgil, Lilith, Succubus, Bob Barbus. Yeah. Yeah. Five. So those are five levels that's solely dedicated to a boss. This game, you have... Well, you saw Yurizen. So you saw Yurizen, the first one. You get this boss fight right here. Um... There's like... Another three that I can think of off the top. So Yurizen, this boss fight, another three that I can think of off the top. And then there's another one... So there's six. There's six missions in this game that's just, um, just a boss. Six missions. Um, this boss fight, it's whatever. Like, it's a, I don't know. Like, it looks like big scale. It looks kind of cool, I guess. It's not that cool. It's actually very fucking annoying. Because what you have to do is you have to, like, snatch yourself up to the top. And you have to hit at the fucking brain. And also, as you can see, like, on that ship, sometimes they have arms that you could use. Um, I'm not sure if I broke off an arm in this to get that. I don't think I did. Because I didn't need to. But, um... Also, I'm not sure if you noticed, but, um, when you use Devil Trigger and, uh, Normal, because I've just been using the Exceed, the X color, EX color, um, his actual Devil Trigger is not an angel. It's not just angelic white. It's actually supposed to be what pop that pop that and this is also another thing with the fight is this fight is just all it is is just trying to get to this platform hit at this motherfucker for a minute it's a very short fight and it's just very annoying too it's just very very annoying there's somebody at the bottom because if you remember when we played the mission with v um 
We were on the bottom attacking the tendrils. What are you doing down there? <laughs> so yeah. Let's be on the bottom over there. And everybody's got to save chicken. They can't get creative. Always has to be chicken. Uh, yeah, that's your problem, not ours. Alright. Well, guess it's just you and me, cockroach. Yeah, whatever. But, um, yeah. Now he's down. And, uh, this is the one case where he's stunned. So, if you look closely at this double trigger now, it's actually blue. Like his jacket. He's actually supposed to be blue with a red chest like his jacket. Personally... I think the Kratos color looks cooler, and I think that should have been his default double trigger just because the idea of Nero being the knight and just everything he came from, it makes sense that he would be like more of an angel type, and it also kind of differentiate him more. Um, when we play with Dante, because his DMC, Dante's DMC costume actually has a different double trigger um, than his regular costume but I never noticed it so I'm probably gonna have to make sure to DT with Dante um just to make sure we see the right one or whatever but um yeah this boss fight I mean now it just summons the fucking fidget the fucking Beyblades to like hit you a little bit and you can do that it breaks this wall over here but yeah, just because it's down does not mean you can grab it, it's just the same shit. Really, you only get that one grab this entire mission. And uh, Showdown is back, as you saw. Maximum Bet is back, as you saw. I hate this shit because we have to dodge these god things, things, and then there's Beyblade, and you can't really fucking target the Beyblade. Because the lock-on system in this game is fucking gross! And yeah, you see the bombs over there, but we can't even shoot the bombs anymore! I think you're supposed to shoot the bombs and then make them drop to the floor or something like that. And if he drops to the floor over there, then he'd go deep in the floor and you could grab him again or some shit. I don't fucking remember. But, um, he tries to climb on top of the Titanic ship over here. It's fucking annoying, this mission. There's not much to say about it. If this is Gilgamesh from, like, Devil May Cry 4, then, like... First off, why are we fighting Gilgamesh from Devil May Cry 4? Um, second off... Why is this boss fight... It's so, it's a big, yeah. But it's not even the biggest boss we've ever fought. And it's so... Like, dude. It's just some bulls... Like, the boss isn't fighting us. We're being shot at the entire time. It's just some bullshit of the fucking boss, like, just shooting at us. And we have to just, like, dodge the shots. And then, like, hit the little brain that it has in the center. Meanwhile, we can't even hit it for too long because this fucking, like, trying to hedgehog spike going on. Like, what is this bullshit? Like, what the fuck? But it's, it's whatever. It's not even so it's this boss, it's um... I don't know. I'd rather this boss than um... The Devil May Cry 2 fish boss. Or um... The window boss in Devil May Cry 4. Or um... Sink this boss in Devil May Cry 4. Or um... Yeah, even Kratos. Kratos is fucking annoying, I don't like Kratos. Kratos is very um... I mean, Kratos has some cool twinks to him, but he's not Virgil. He's supposed to be set up like Virgil, but he's not Virgil. This boss fight is just kind of there. But he goes down like a bitch. This thing's a root too. What's going on? And uh, that's that. Also, that um boss. Ladies away. Got any questions for? Better I think um. I forget where that one comes from. It might be in the third boss fight, third years in boss fight. That one. Um, is it third? I barely remember. I'm trying to think about the years in boss fight actually. Like, um, <laughs> cause I don't think that comes from the first boss fight. It doesn't come from the first boss fight, I don't think. It might be play. That might be a part of the second boss fight.
So what happened to him and Trish? Mm -hmm. Ended up like you. Trish, she, she was captured. I remember that. Oh yeah, that's um. I don't know what happened to Dr. Lady. Damn Being it. lady. You can't travel through here in a car. Yeah, we know. We're just waiting on you. There's only one way up that tree. Thank I want to say it's kind of fitting that, you know, Artemis would be Lady because Artemis was the gun in 3. So, like, the gun character for the series. You look so well. Artemis, you know? You too, I guess. I found these. If they're of any use to you. But even still, well, that's, I guess, I don't know what the fuck to think about that. I don't know what to think about that. Because that's supposed to be Artemis the gun. Like Artemis from Don't Make Right 3. Yes, it's as good as mine. Because, which is understandable because he never actually fought anybody it's for okay. Artemis. Get some rest. You need it. <sighs> yeah, we never actually fight anybody for Artemis. Um, So that's supposed to just be Artemis the gun. Gilgamesh, we did fight somebody and get Gilgamesh. But apparently, fuck you. Um... Yeah. It's time to get to work. I was just told to get some rest. Oh, you were just told to get some rest? Well, we need to make a path. So start digging. Oh, yeah. Come on, get up, get up. And lady. Got something to wear that's good for digging? <laughs> yeah, just you you're fine. He's clean naked. Oh, uh, I'm going to use V. I'm pretty sure in this mission. I use V. Because I think, as I said before, you only get so many missions. You get eight missions with Nero. You get seven missions with Dante. You only get five missions with V. So I figure we'll just use V to kind of um, show off his shit a little bit more. Like, while we can. Also, I never mentioned his EX. I don't think I ever mentioned his EX color. Like, what it's a reference to. Um, I forget why I'm staying on the screen so long. <laughs> But, um, yeah, start with V. I think I was just explaining myself there. But, yeah, we're going to start with V. I'm going to that mission. There's certain missions where, when I say certain missions, there's only two. There's two missions in this game. Two missions in this game where you can choose who you want to be in the mission. It'll be the same mission, but you can choose what character you want to play as. If you play as them... If you start this mission with a friend, and this is also the introduction to this enemy. This fucking annoying ass shithead. Um, if you start the mission off with a friend or something, you can play the mission together, and you can meet up and, like, do combos and shit together. Um, it was a cool idea. They half-assed it. Also, you don't have to do this fight at all. You can skip this entire fight. I do the fight because these are just small-ass enemies. These are just small-ass little goon guys, so... You know, use them to build up some DT right now, and just, like, build up some style for the ranks or whatever. But, um, yeah, you could just completely avoid this entire boss. You, I'm not boss. This entire segment right here. You don't have to fight any of them. Um. But, what was I saying? I don't even remember what I was saying. Um, which I could just stop my commentary, go back, and see what I was talking about before. But I'm not even going to do that, because I don't really care that much. Um, instead, I guess I'll talk about, no, I think, I remember now, certain missions, and when I say certain missions, and also I think that's using the violin, that's a taunt that you can get, you can only do it for so long, because yeah, um, there's two missions in this game, you can choose who you want to be, um, you can play through it with one person, you can play through it with whoever, just, there's this, this mission where you can play as V or Nero, and then there's a later mission where every all three of them, all three characters, end up becoming available. And you could choose which one you want to play as. Now, this would be cool if it was done for, I don't know, more missions, or instead of, like, padding out, you know, levels, and just kind of being like, oh, you know. Because that's a cool way to be like, okay, so here's level, like, who you want to play as, but when you play as this person... Like, it's the same level, and the same number, 
but this person has a completely different section and is doing a completely different part of the story or whatever. So you can do like really 20 missions, but then you have like mission like A or B or whatever of the one number that have different sections that tell different parts of the story so you can like expand the story like that. They didn't do that. Missed opportunity, I think. It would have been... It would have gave them a lot more leeway to like kind of do a lot more with the game and introduce like a lot more levels, a lot more enemies, just like it gives them more breathing room. But instead they just kind of went the um I don't want to say lazy, but yeah. I mean, I guess it's kind of cool the fact that you see like somebody playing from a different level. You can see somebody who's playing from a completely different level than you in your level. That's kind of cool. I just think it'd be cooler if, you know, they didn't waste mission slots like that. But they, they've been half-assing. They, like, mastered ways to half-ass with this shit. I mean, as you saw, they removed costumes completely from this game. There's only EX colors. And sometimes the EX colors can do like some nice little change things, subtle changes, like taking off Nico's glasses or like um, adding the um, Sparta symbol on um, Kratos' jacket or whatever. But it's nothing really too major. Double trigger change is a little bit, but it's not that big. Um, but yeah, this mission I chose V because um. I figured at the end, because the end is a big section also, just got fucked. Use the air taunt, summon nightmare, boom. That's how you do it. But, um, this ending has a big section that's very fucking annoying. With, um, Nero. Very, very fucking annoying. But I didn't realize it's also fucking annoying with V. It can be. Um, and when you play this game with somebody, when you get lucky and you have the same server with somebody, you can kind of double team it with somebody. But when you don't get lucky, and you're just stuck with just the DMC crew or whatever, they don't really help you. They die. <laughs> they die on this difficulty. So you're just like, gotta do this all by yourself, which fucking sucks. Huge ass oversight. But there's a lot of oversights like that in here. Um, so yeah, we just end up going through the subway shit. Subway surfing, but um, stuff I am, but yeah, you don't know, do the subway system. I don't know. I personally think this game. There's a couple things that this game should have did that it didn't. For one, they should have had the ability to like, I don't know, especially at least for like the last mission where you can choose like any of the three to play as from the start. Maybe play that one mission with, like, a friend, like, invite somebody or whatever. That'd be cool. There is, like, a, um, system in this game where you can, like, um, rate who's playing with you or whatever. You can give them a thumbs up or some shit. If you give them a thumbs up, it gives them a gold orb or some shit like that. Some bullshit. There is that. But, um, I don't know. Like, it's just kind of, eh, I don't know. Instead, I think, because I don't think Bloody Palace was available on launch either. I don't think Bloody Palace was available on launch. That was um, added with a later update or some shit. But I think Bloody Palace should have been the ability to like kind of co-op it. Which, in Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition for the Nintendo Switch, they actually made you able to play Bloody Palace with Dante and Virgil at the same time. One person can control Virgil, one person can control Dante. And they have the full movesets that both of them have. I think that would have been really cool and you already have the like ability to like kind of show you can co-op shit in this game here. Like by certain missions you could play and you have somebody fighting in the background or whatever. So you could do it. You could do that entire thing with Bloody Palace. Like make Bloody Palace co-opable. But they didn't do that shit because they were just like too lazy. They didn't I don't know. It's it's just some bullshit. Like, I don't know. It's I don't want to say lazy. It just seems really stupid. It's probably just them not implementing it so they can maybe implement it in the Devil May Cry 6 if it ever happens and then use that as like, Oh, look at the new feature! Here's what you can do now! You were never able to do this before, even though it was totally easy to implement in past game and might as well have, but... 
you didn't just so you can use it now okay cool fine whatever but um i was lost for a bit and then i found a way um but yeah bloody palace is not co-optable it was an easy way for them to kind of expand they were already experimenting already doing it here and they already did it in don't make cry 3 special edition for the switch but they didn't hear which is honestly pisses me off because don't make cry 3 special edition had some shit too i mean aside from that they could have easily just like taken what they did for the switch version and just did an update for a Devil May Cry, like, special edition collection, like, Devil May Cry, like, HD collection for the, like, PS4 or whatever, and just implemented that, they could have just did that. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't even make it a DLC or an option to do that. They didn't do that. And then another bullshit thing that they did for the Switch is they made it so that you can use all of your styles at once with Dante. You didn't have to go and, like, just choose, like, which style you want to play within the mission. You could actually play the mission with every style, like, you would in Devil May Cry 4 and Devil May Cry 5. But they don't fucking do that! You don't have that on a console, it's just on a goddamn Switch version of the fucking game. Why would they not update the console or make it a DLC? So you can like try to do that, like go back to Don't Make Cry 3 and do that. I don't fucking know. Because I maybe they're like, who's gonna fucking pay money for like a DLC for a fucking remaster? But at the same time, why the fuck would you make a remaster and add that shit? And just be like, oh, well, people are gonna buy this remaster because this is in it now. Like, if you're gonna like do that as a selling point for some shit, might as well just do it to like everything so you can make that much more money like from the shit that you got, right? But no, it's just fuck you, like, Nintendo just gets this shit because, you know, Nintendo, and, like, we're doing this this later, so we're gonna try something different. And, like, fuck you. Pissing me off. Because they might as well never have did that shit at all. It's cool that they did it, and it's nice that they did it, but I'm not fucking buying a Switch for Devil May Cry 3! I'm not fucking doing that! And especially buying a fucking Switch for Devil May Cry fucking 3? Just for that one fucking feature when the rest of the game I'm not even gonna fucking play and more or less I'm probably gonna still choose to like play that shit with a fucking PlayStation PlayStation controller or some shit like that. Fuck that shit. Like what why are you overcomplicating things? Fuck them! Like pisses me off. And they did the same bullshit with this game. Where it was like, oh, Bloody Palace, and like everybody and their mother complained about, I'm pretty sure, like DMC not releasing with Bloody Palace, like, oh, this is the one Devil May Cry game with no Bloody Palace. Okay, then it gets the fucking Bloody Palace. Nobody complains about it or anything. And first off, the Bloody Palace in DMC is actually cool because the level designs of the DMC are actually fucking cool. So it's each level of like DMC Bloody Palace actually has shit inspired from like the kind of chapters in DMC, which is nice. Here you don't really get that. Here it's like very just generic. Don't make cry three touches up the floor a little bit. Don't make cry floor four just makes the floors get darker visually. Like it's not thing too crazy. Don't make cry three gets a little bit interesting visually. Don't make cry four is just the screen gets darker. Devil May Cry Five is nothing too special either it's just some generic bullshit dmc actually is kind of cool um and devil may cry 2 is also level based based off like how many levels like what part of game you'd be in like that's where it kind of takes inspiration from but um yeah they don't do that so there's no co-op bloody palace in this game you can't if you want to like do a mission with somebody like there's only one mission to really do it with um this well two this would be the mission i guess if they're playing with nero but then you have to get to the exact same spot at the exact same time and a hope that i mean it's easy to do now because nobody's fucking playing it who the fuck is playing devil may cry 5 who the fuck is playing devil may cry 5 especially with the like option to like oh you want to play with other people fuck no fuck them people they go out suck a dick. Like, nobody's trying to play with other people. You're just, like, focusing on just, like, doing your shit. Um. So, yeah. That pissing me off. You use Nightmare here. Because here's these little, like, vaginal infection shits here. You want to destroy those because the longer they stay open, they keep on the spawning enemies. So you're never going to be done until they're dead. Yes, when you, like, kill everybody, they 
spawn things slower, kind of, but still, they spawn shit. So you want to kill them. They should be your first priority. Um, I'm using Nightmare because it kind of takes the edge off of you. You don't have to worry about too many people. Kind of get shit handled. Also, you don't have to um, cane any of those things, because they just die automatically. They're one of the few things. I think it's like, they never specify it, but Quifot... Quifot? Quifot? The fucking bullshit that they do in this game! Like, that shit... Those things, like the plant things, they just die. Like, V does not have to put his stick in the paws. V does not have to, like, cane any of them. Like, they just die from just dying. It's the devils that you have to worry about. And also, the scissors! The scissor scissors! Shoot that. You have to cane that. But V, the scissor scissors are a little bit easier, but they're not even that hard to begin with. <laughs> Nightmare kind of helps them a lot. Thus endeth your requiem. Also, so you had the violin. Triple S can give you the symphony, the orchestra. Yeah. Still. Um, I think, did I miss this? I think I missed this. No, I did not miss this. I got it. I missed one of these things. I'm pretty sure. But you got it here. No, I missed it. Um, I think I missed doing the, um, it was the, it was the horse. It was the horse. The last mission with the horse ended up missing that shit. That mission has it right before the um, horse fight. I didn't call her. But, um, yeah. Just take the stairs up. Which is, um, you know, you try to, try to destroy the red orbs. But, you know, things are, you know. In this spot, when Nero would typically be a devil breaker. Um... No, Quifa has grown. It's large. How much blood has been sacrificed? A lot. Um, destroy that shit, and then you see the red shit over there. Over there, doll. Over there. But then you want to kill these guys first, so you don't worry too much about it. Um, I should have pulled out my Bible. I didn't. Also, I accidentally hit this shit, so I'm like, I have to start on this shit now because I accidentally hit it early on. So this shit is going to go gray any second until we break it. There we go. And honestly, those things are kind of useless. I'm just doing it for the rank, just for the mission rank at this point, because as you see, um, I have a lot of orbs, but at the same time, not enough. Uh, I want to show you something with Virgil. But, um, I'll probably get it by the end of the game. Because, as I told you, those EX taunts cost three fucking million? So, yeah. Each EX taunt cost three million, and I spent nine million. Just for, um, Dante, V, and Nero. And meet the Angelos. The official introduction. Alright, and here's the thing, right? So, V, not V, um, well, I guess there's two things, right? I'll probably say, I'll start off with this, because this is going to be a long-ass fight, because these guys take a fucking lot to kill, especially on Dante Must Die. So, um, these are the Angelos, and the thing is, in Devil May Cry 4, you had the, um, knights that were, like, kind of, like, Credo. The knights that were Credo's minions. These are minions of Nilo Angelo, kind of. They are, like, kind of, like, newer Neo Angelo knights spawning, which is probably, as you notice, the big sword motherfuckers, that's where it comes from, if you, like, felt it was familiar, Devil May Cry 1, Nilo Angelo, yes, these are his offsprings, kind of. 
or his mini minis. Um, and I might as well say it now too because I never talked about it early on. So there was two novels. There was two novels and a manga. There was the Don't Cry Three manga. There was a prequel novel that um came after Don't May Cry Three. There's a novel that came after Don't May Cry Three, I think. But um before four. Because the anime takes place before four. So really the Don't May Cry timeline it goes. Devil May Cry manga. Devil May Cry three. Devil May Cry one. Devil May Cry anime. No, 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 my death, my death. Devil May Cry manga, Devil May Cry 3, Devil May Cry 1, Devil May Cry novel, Devil May Cry anime, Devil May Cry 4, Devil May Cry 2, and then there's a book that's a prequel to Devil May Cry 5 that talks about some shit or whatever. And that book, yeah. There's the prequel, Don't May Cry 5 book, and then there's Don't May Cry 5. Don't May Cry 2 was always kind of in the air. They didn't know what to do with it, where to set it in the timeline, so they just kind of just didn't talk about it. But they kind of talk about it in this game, kind of. They say, like, oh, well, like, after Don't May Cry 1, he, like, did that, and, like, he went to hell, but, like, ended up coming back or some I don't know, some bullshit. They, because the way that Don't May Cry 2, like, ends, it's hard to kind of fix that away and explain it um but yeah that's how it goes and I'm saying this because the reference color for V if you noticed obviously you probably have it's a green outfit it's a green jacket in the first Devil May Cry novel not the manga um in the Devil May Cry novel there is a man that um Actually, was it Don't Cry Novel? God damn it, I gotta figure out where the fuck this shit starts. I think. Yeah, three manga first. Three manga? No. No. No? Um. No. It goes Don't May Cry Novel. No, it starts with the Don't May Cry Novel. Then it's the Devil May Cry 3 manga, then Devil May Cry 3, then Devil May Cry 1, the Devil May Cry 4. Yeah. So the novel's the first thing. Before even the Devil May Cry 3 manga. Okay! It's confusing! The reason why it's confusing is because in a fucking Devil May Cry novel. Also, I just got fucked bad, but never mind that. The reason why it's confusing, in the Devil May Cry novel, there's apparently supposed to be a bandaged man with a green suit. With, like, an all-green suit, and he's a raging alcoholic, and you, all you know is he's some type of demon. He's a raging alcoholic, and he's just, like, some asshole that Dante, like, kind of confronts and talks with or whatever, and shit happens. In the manga, he was written as Virgil in disguise. He was actually Virgil, like Virgil using an alt alias and a different identity in the novel. But they decided that they didn't want to do that at one point after the novel came out and after he was revealed to be Virgil. So they tried to retcon that with some bullshit and just make him some guy or some boy. Oh, fucking no. Don't make cry is bad at writing. If you fucking watch the series, you know how shit the writing gets. All right. Don't. I'm, I'm trying to explain this shit. It's, it's not easy. But Virgil, apparently, at some point, was disguised as a man in fucking Hideo Kojima, like fucking whale death strand advantages called Gilver. And Gilver had a green suit, and he was a raging alcoholic, he eventually died of some bullshit, which resulted in Virgil getting, I think, buried. And that's why in the Devil May Cry 3 manga, it starts with Virgil coming out of his own grave. And him, like, walking, wandering around, looking for the book or some shit. Which is, like, I don't know if it's the book that V's holding, or it's the book of Arkham. I don't fucking know. That book that Arkham has, he was looking for that shit, and that's how he ends up coming across Arkham in the Devil May Cry 
three manga. He just came out of his own grave because in the manga, in the novel, he was Gilver, and Dante fucked him up, and then he ended up getting buried and coming back to life, I guess, and then Devil May Cry three happens after that, and before. Three, he somehow found a prostitute and fucked her and made Nero. I don't fucking know. Some bullshit. Alright? But! I'm saying all this to say that Gilver is the imposter of Virgil, and that's what these colors is a reference to. I never explained it before, but yeah. And I'm not trying to spoil anything. I'm not trying to say too much spoilers or anything. But, um, if you're keen on your, like, little knowledge on shit, and if you've been, like, paying attention and looking around, and if you notice, Griffin is actually a Don't Make Cry 1 boss. Griffin is a reference to Don't Make Cry 1 with actual Griffin. Shadow is literally Shadow. Like, in Don't Make Cry 1, when Shadow chases you, he can turn into a panther. This is actually Shadow. Nightmare is Nightmare. These are all Devil May Cry enemies. Your enemies that you fight are Angelos. And they're knights swinging these big purple swords and shit. Kind of like Nilo Angelo, which was corrupted Virgil. Um, so yeah, subtlety in the writings. Very, um, very subtle writings and, you know, especially when trying to make a, um, surprise, but... It kind of is a surprise, I guess, because the EX color for um, V is not DL well, it is DLC, but you unlock it by beating the game a certain way. So yeah, and you never really notice it, you never really think of it, but even if you look at the design on the chest, kind of, if you really look at that design, doesn't it almost kind of look like... Virgil's coat. It's like Virgil's coat with the blue and just the thing going down the Here. coat. But instead of blue, it's green. That was the house. Hmm. A little food for thought. You go ahead. You're gonna miss all the fun. No. I must seek out the devil's sword, Sparta. Yeah. I don't think that's such oh, yeah, a good Gilver. Idea. Trust me. You're not the only one who thinks so. Nero is Kratos. Dante is DMC. V is Gilver. Trish is Gloria. Lady is apparently supposed to be Trish. She's not blonde, but you telling me? I guess you'll see. She's not blonde, but her clothes are like black. Her upper clothes is black. Um, for the most part, so I guess that's like Trish's black outfit. And Nico is nothing in particular. They just thought she was kind of fugly, so they made a outfit that made her look less fugly. Um, and yeah, that's the mission. It took a fucking minute. But even for how long that mission was, I think I'm gonna scroll down. That I still get an S on this. Yes, I still got an S on like speed clear because that's just a long ass fight. It's a long ass fight, man. A long ass fight. Fucking hell. But, um, you know, see you in the next mission. Mission 8. <sighs>